Hello YouTube, welcome to Jang's Food, I forgot the name of the channel. Jang's Food Workshop. Yes. Jang Food Workshop. Yes, we've changed yeah. the name of the channel to, 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 to make it easy to say, but it turns out it's actually harder, so that's weird. Anyway, I'm Chin, and this is my mum Chu. Oh, hi -o. all right. <laughs> all right. Hello, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home. We have a lot of experience, over three generations worth. We are also teaching people how to do traditional Chinese food and branching out into more Malaysian food because mum is from Brunei. She's a Malay Chinese or Chinese Malay, whichever one way yes. around you want to say it. Um, so we're going to be doing more of that and our restaurants nowadays are Malaysian street food. So, yeah. That's it. What's today's video about mum? Um, beef and tomatoes. B yes, <laughs> nice. Beef and tomatoes. If you're new to the channel, mum never gets it right, so yeah, yeah that was a good one. <laughs> beef uh, and tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. say it again. <laughs> Today we're doing beef and tomatoes, and this is a dish that has been asked for quite a bit, yet most takeaways where we've worked, no one's ever really bought it. It's, yeah. not, it's not that popular. No, the chicken, I think, more the big chicken. chicken. Well, in the 90s, it, 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 tend to, it did die down a little bit, you know? In the 80s, 80s, 90s, it was the, the exotic. Eight, yeah, in the 80s, noodles were exotic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, even now it's still exotic. Not really. But yeah, noodles, everybody like, yeah, they do. like noodles. Oh, I like noodles. noodles, yeah. I like rice. Rice is better for me. I'm rice a rice and man. noodles, I like both. It all depends on what mood. I think we've had this conversation a hundred times ago. <laughs> <laughs> anyway! You could end up with a fistic half a minute yeah. behind, behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. The recipe we're going to show you today is actually in our cookbook, which is now available at www.chinandchew.com forward slash shop. So it's all there. We've also got a blog which we post recipes on, which is actually on the same website. So look out for that as well. We'll get on with this. Yeah. Get on, ready, get, go. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get on, get go. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's a normal thing to say. Yeah. Is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to mention, a uh, massive shout out to Goklin Wan, who's just released this. It was released on the 9th of January. We're a bit late shouting out, sorry about that. But things have been busy for us and we've basically haven't had the time. We're actually filming the second part of this video again because as always, I lost the footage, and I've lost like four years worth of data as well. Um, a lot of pictures of my cat that died it was really special to me. Have all gone, so that was quite. So that was quite emotional. But anyway, thank you very much for this. Oh, thanks, Scott Lynn. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope um, we can see you one day. Hope you guys. Yeah. yeah hope, yeah. Hopefully, you can collab. And if you guys, uh, this is the vegetarian vegan one. He also has. A normal Chinese takeaway version as well, so please pick the up. Best sellers, both of them. Yes. Mm. Well done, mate. That's re actually really good going. Yes. Right, so we have taught you how to um, velvet beef before, haven't we, Mum? Yes, we have, yes. But we, yes. the new format of our little show means that we want to show every part of it just for new viewers um, and just for refreshment for yourself. Well, I mean, when you, once you know it, you always know it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. Is that because sometimes you have to think about it? Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so we've got about 500 to 600 grams worth of topside beef here. This is the cut that most takeaways will use because it's cheap and fairly good quality. There's no, not much fat running through it, so it is um, quite beefy. Yes. But that's why it's not that tender and you have to do this next process, because there is very little ribbons of fat running through there. It's called marble. Marbling, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're right there, aren't you? Yeah. It is called marbles. Next we have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Someone the other day said they put the dessert spoon into one kg's worth of beef cut and it was a bit too powerful for them. So if, if you're not a big fan of garlic, don't put as much as we say in the booking, do a little bit less, but I mean, Chinese food is garlicky by nature, so. So yeah, if you don't want to put too much garlic in, by all means don't. If you want to put more, by all means do. 
got one and a half dessert spoons of dark soy. This is very, very important. There are several brands that are um, useful. They will be on our website if you want to go have a look to see which brands to use. Three quarters teaspoon of MSG. This is optional, you don't have to use it. If you're scared of using it or you believe it's bad for your health, I suggest maybe you read our book where I debunk all of the myths in there using actual science. You used to eat it when you were young? Yeah. Mum used to eat it when she was young we and, and she's not crazy. <laughs> we used to put it on hand and lick it. Did she? And sugar. Either this one or sugar. But yes. these are more expensive. We yeah, cannot is... eat a lot more. But sugar we used to take lick. This is... Also got no sweet. What? No sweetie. This really. is horrible work by yeah. itself. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> half teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of... Soda bicarb. Or bicarbonate soda. I can never remember which way around it is, but yeah. Bicarbonate soda. Soda bicarbonate. Bicarb. Soda bicarbonate. Just, just bicarb. And this isn't in the book, but we always add a dessert spoon of corn flour as well to a kilo. So this is a heap teaspoon of corn flour. Some Chinese takeaways won't add it because it can cause, if you've got a poorly seasoned wok, it can cause the um, the beef to stick. Stick like what, Mum? Stick to the wok. Well, I was expecting you to say stick like shit, but you didn't say No. <laughs> so we're going to add it this time, but a lot of places won't. And that is the beef um, marinade over with now for the ingredients for the main dish. And if you, I can't remember if I said this, but if I said it at the beginning, Feel free to skip everything that you've seen before and you don't want to see again. Um, I might put timestamps below for that kind of thing. I might not because we are turbo busy at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if I've got the time, I will. Yeah, we'll do our best. We will do our best. And this is what you need for the main cooking. One teaspoon of the blended garlic puree. Again, this is all in a book. Or we have a video how to use this, um, use it, make it on, um, this YouTube channel somewhere. Now you want two unripened uh, tomatoes. If they're ripe, they disintegrate when you cook them. These are a little overripe for what I like, but they're the least ripe in the in the Tesco's. So yeah. yeah, you want half a large white onion and you want to cube it for this. Two dessert spoons of vegetable oil. We always use vegetable oil, don't use olive oil. I mean, you don't. No, when no. have you ever seen olives in a chow mein? <laughs> but uh, so don't put olive oil into it. Two dessert spoons of Heinz tomato ketchup. If you use another brand, some of them have a really weird cinnamon flavour to it, and it's odd. And I don't know why they do it, but this is what you need. The Heinz always, Heinz. always is best. Two teaspoons of sugar. Two dessert spoons of light soy. A quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of MSG. Again, optional. And to finish off potato starch, slurry. the reason we don't use cornstarch is because it cooks out quicker and goes back to a liquid state faster than potato starch. Potato starch will last longer and thicken quicker. Um, also notice the lovely 90s motif on this. Is this one of your favorite jars, Bob? Yeah, I did have a collection of Yeah, it. I thought you did, yeah. Wonderful, eh? Yeah. This will be back in fashion in five years. Yes, I know. Yeah, no, I tell you. Okay, now um, we're going to uh, go on to prepping the beef. Yeah, a knife. A knife. Hiya. Get your beef. Again, if you want to skip past this bit, by all means, it's going to be about three to four minutes long, so just skip ahead if you've seen this bit already. If you haven't, sit back and enjoy and watch. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to get rid of this fat, you can, but I think we put that in. Are you sure? No, why? We'd always trim it, we'd always trim it off in a takeaway. Yeah, just because people don't like fat, you know. Yeah, no, but I know you enjoy it, but. Yeah, fat, in fact, this fat is better than, than, pro, than. Processed fat. Yeah, but you see the grain here? Look at that. Yeah, see it? Yeah, I see it. All right, I just, the we were at home, I know you can see it. So, right, as for, so yeah, we want to cut that into like chunks and we always want to cut across the grain, not with the grain. So now you can see that ribbon effect there. Yeah, you see the straight line. Eh? And then what do you do, Mum? You cut it into half again. Yeah. Oh, what we'll do is we'll just cut one bit and I'll then show you, we'll eh? just show you. So what, explain what you're doing there, Mum. Oh, 
is cutting and, and slightly put your knife a bit slant at the beginning because the beef is always um, not in the same level and you see if it's in the same level you don't need to slant it sometimes it can be bigger than the other side you know what I mean the reason why I slant the knife is to get a bigger slice of yeah beef. bigger slice and thinner as well look and you get bigger piece see, yeah. so the face of it is two centimeters but by slanting it you can get a three centimeter piece across mm, yeah like that. and we'll continue to do this and then we'll show you how to marinate it yeah ma yeah sure yeah. okay as you can see all the beef has been chopped up and it's looking lovely i would yeah I'd like to eat that like that, actually. Yeah, you can, in fact. Can you? Yeah, you can eat raw beef. Oh, I don't know why I said can you. I know that, yeah. Yeah. Steak tartare, isn't it? Um, so, in go all the ingredients. Okay, in goes your salt. MSG, MSG, optional. Optional. Bicarb. Now, be careful with your bicarb. If you put too much in, it will be squeaky on your teeth. And, there's, and it's like biting into a turbo mushroom. And I hate the squeakiness of mushrooms on my teeth. Um, but if you like that, then by all means put as much bicarb in as you want. Corn, Corn flour. flour. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. And lastly, the least is your soil. Uh, lastly, the least. Right, and then you just okay, mix it in. Okay, you just mix it up. Ideally, you could let this stand for 24 hours. Well, I can smell it now. But if you don't have 24 hours, I wouldn't want to let this stand for 24 hours. You can use it straight away, it just won't be as good. It's looking good. It is looking good. It's smelling good by itself. Yeah. Just give it a good mix, okay? Isn't it there's a song called Squeeze something? Oh God, here we go. What, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. There's a song about Squeeze. It's an old song anyway, not a modern one. Can you imagine those rappers go Squeeze, Squeeze? Yeah, it I can even, actually. It wouldn't even uh, rap in the whatever. Wouldn't even rap in the whatever, of course. You know, rapping, yeah. it's, like, it's like talking in a bit of a funny way, isn't it? <laughs> rapping. I like rap, so I, I can I can attest to that, but I do um, I do okay. enjoy a good, good old school tune. It smells fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the beef done. So as always, we're going to heat up the pan and put the oil in. Yep, pan is heat up, just wait for it to heat up. Beef. It's really, really important that the pan is hot. hot. The oil, sorry, is hot in the pan. Well, when your pan is not hot, your oil wouldn't be hot. Yeah, that's, that's actually very true. <laughs> so the pan is nice and hot now. Yeah, put the beef in, yeah? Yeah. That's the beef, we put that in. That is beef. Beef and spread it. Break it a bit if we stick together. Spread it out, okay? And then after you do this, you just leave it to stand. Yeah. This is the most important part. If you keep moving it around, it never really sears properly. Can you see it's sealing? It's not sealing. Oh. Searing. Searing. Yeah, someone called me out that the other day and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I get it. I get, all right, I said the wrong word. It's searing. It's not technically sealing anything, but you're just trying to get some color on there. Some yep. flavor. No color, no flavor. Yeah. It's time just to break it apart, turn it around now. Yeah. Right, you can you understand what we're saying now? Yeah, I don't think they do. And then you just want to keep turning this and letting it sit until all the beef is cooked. You can see that colour? Oh, it looks like a piece of steak. Mini steaks? Yes. Oh, I love, I love a mini steak. Yeah, actually, you just fry it and then serve it like this if you want to. Yeah, you could. I very often do it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My mum's not lying there. No. Really nice and bread. Yeah. With some butter. Oh, not but, about butter. Oh, you don't like butter? No, you don't no like... I'm a bit uh, uh, intolerant of that because of the... Uh, the dairy? Yeah, dairy. Does it give you poos? No, it doesn't. It just gives me acid stomach. Uh, really terrible. So when the beef's nice and seared, do you want to say it? Seal? Seal? <laughs> Excuse me. Seal. Not... Seal. Seal. No! Seared. Seal. Seared. Seared. Like... Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, okay? Ingo, All right. Seal. Onions. 
your this MSG optional, yep. although you won't get the takeaway flavour without it, and your salt. Yeah. And you want to brown off your onions. Get it brown, yeah, we like it brown. This is called white onion. Yeah, they are called white onions. Yeah, it's white, this is a really nice onion. These are... What are those red onions called, Mum? Shallot. <laughs> I was expecting you to say red onions. Because <laughs> red onions are called red onions, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were oh, talking about the small onions and shallots. I wasn't expecting you to throw shallots out there. No. Yeah. Now, when the onions are starting to brown, in goes your garlic. And you want to stir this quite uh, viciously, I would say. Yeah. Because you want to cook it, but you don't want to burn it. You yeah. burn it and it's bitter. Bitter is not good. No. Now you're allowed to touch the pan, alright? Not with your hand, with the spoon. Yeah. And then in it. goes your ketchup. And you need to cook it out. If you don't cook it out, um, it just tastes like ketchup. Yeah, it does not taste right. No, you cook it out and it tastes silky, yeah. smooth. Um, a lot of people will cook this dish for them, can't figure out how we get the tomato flavour. Yeah, they say it's, we say it's ketchup and they think we're lying. It's, no, it changes completely once it's cooked. Yeah. It's called chemistry. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. Yeah. Do you know, I'm not lying. Chemistry. Do you know right. any song names of chemistry in? Is that by Peter Andrea? Peter Andre? Yeah. Chemistry. I don't think. Oh, that... oh yeah. Chemistry. Uh, it was by a. I don't know much about biology. <laughs> it's yeah, 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 yeah. You're my, my girl. My girl. No, da, 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 my is that girl. Song? Yeah, is it? I, I don't know about biology or chemistry, but I, I do know, know. I, I love you. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're right. So now the ketchup is looking cooked off. Yep. In goes your water. All of it. You want to bring that up to the boil. Yeah, bring this it to time, the boil. You can add your, your sugar, sugar, your light soy. Yeah. And you your dark. And Just a drop. To give it a bit of colour. If you think you want it a bit darker, you add a bit more, right? Yeah. I like my dark. By your own judgement, okay? And then we're going to bring this to the boil and then add the tomatoes. Yeah. So this is nice and bubbly at the moment. It's been bubbling for about 30 seconds. We're going to add in our tomatoes. Yep. Now, what you're just trying to do is warm these through so they're safe to eat because you don't want to overcook them because they will fall apart to pieces. And so we're just going to Put them in for about a minute. Yeah, while you're waiting, you just uh, get your potato or corn, uh, what do you call it, solution ready. Slurry. Slurry. So it's it? basically one part potatoes, starch, one part water. Looking good. Looking amazing. This is yes. my, one of my favourite go to things. I yes. cook this all the time at home. I don't order it out. If I'm going out, I'll order. Hong Kong style pork. Probably. Yes, yeah, that's your favourite, isn't it? Is, yeah. yeah. Pork, pork is my favourite as well. Yeah, After the beef and the duck and everything, I all like all dark meat. Yeah, me too. I like chicken. I like chicken, chicken drumstick, or the chicken wing. Pork, 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 pork. <laughs> chicken wings. Yeah, not um, chicken breast. No, no, I hate chicken breast. It's, it's really dry. I don't understand why. And people, what annoys me is people always go, oh no, it's not. It's because you're not cooked it right. And then, and then they cook me in this moist bit of chicken breast. <laughs> it's still dry. It's still dry. Do you know what, why? Why is chicken breast is so dry? Because no were, fat. Yeah, not only that, they got the, they don't exercise their breast, is it? Well, they use the leg to walk. Do you, you exercise your breast? Exercise. Do you ex what animal <laughs> exercises their breast, man? <laughs> oh, cock. Oh, that's an exercise of nose is wrong. That's a cook. <laughs> yeah, that is the thread. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, we're going to thicken this up now. Add a little bit of the um, potato and starch a, slurry at a time. At a time. Because if you thicken it too much, you will make glue. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, Ooh uh, uh, just, just a little, little bit, bit more. Ooh, ah. Uh, Who's that? Uh, I can tell you right off the bat. Just a little bit more. I can't. I, I can't know. Gina G. Is that the? It's Eurovision. I used to love Eurovision. Oh yeah. I kid. This they don't like Eurovision now, isn't it? No. Oh, Eurovision used to be thing. You know. Oh yeah. Used it to did. get 
special treat, stay up late, yeah, I know. get fizzy drink and all the goody crisps and everything to snack. So these days are too busy not talking to each other to watch yeah. TV. Do right, you want a bit That's thicker? it? No, that's yep, fine. that's good now. Yeah, we're going to add chilies to this. Look at that. Lovely. Brilliant. Juggling. Wow. <laughs> Do you want to <laughs> say it sounds completely fake? Brilliant. God, look at that. Making me hungry now. Well, good job you're going to eat it. You can put rice or noodles or... It's actually really nice for spaghetti. Spaghetti as well. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Right. So we're going to add Ooh, the chilies and then test lovely. it out for you guys. I like lots of sauce. Yeah, I do too. I like lots of sauce or everything. One of my best go-to is Sunday roast. Lots of gravy. I don't care what everybody say. Gravy, yes, it's the best. I don't think there's... There aren't many people in the UK going, I don't want gravy. They do, they do oh. like the liquid gravy. Oh, I hate them. Oh, it's got to be thick. Yeah, got to yeah. be thick. I, those, uh, what is it, the Master Chef, their gravy are so runny. Yeah, that's a jus, man. Yeah, but whatever, I don't care what it is. It's <laughs> jus, whatever. Whatever, shh, 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 shh. It's too runny. And you, when you use a knife and fork to eat it, you couldn't even get any sauce on it. <laughs> right. Even a spoon. We're gonna go to the outro. Yeah. Right, so here we have the finished products. Product. 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 <laughs> Product. Product. Duct. Duck. Duct. Duck. Put E D on the end. Product. Yeah. Product. Oh, do you know this is this is it's just the Chinese. Um, can't say ED. Yeah. It's like today I was trying to teach um, Lid, well, my fiance and um, someone I work for how to say the beer. Beer. Qing, Qingdao. Yeah, Qingdao. Or Qingdao. Yeah. And um, they can't say the T Qing, and the Qing, S together. Yeah. And I'm like, it's like you're, you're like making a bing noise without like you saying the S and the T at the same time. Yeah. And they just go. Qingdao. Qingdao. Yeah, you need to put. Qing, uh, it's like Qing. In, you put your teeth together, yeah. then you push the the air in between your crossed teeth. Can you do that? Sing. Yeah. It's really anyway. It just comes naturally. It's to relevant. Me. Yeah. 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 It's relevant to what we we're saying. Just in case you think that I'm taking the piss out of mum for not being able to talk English. Yeah. I'm not perfect at Chinese. I'm not perfect in English. I'm not perfect in Eng uh, Chinese. It's called uh, half water, half. What? Uh, half level of water in Chinese called half level of water. Mm. Oh, it's, yeah. it's hot. I've got to put a towel on Oh, it's very nice. Do you want me to hold it? The flavour is really silky, isn't it? Mm. It's like super tomato y, but like, I can't. It's, it's, it's a bit it like. Of... It's nice. I don't care what other people say about chilli. Someone said that. You, when you garnish, put the chilli, you're not supposed to eat it, you only need the heat. If you don't eat the chilli, you don't get the heat. Well, it's it's all relative to how used you are to a chilli, isn't it? Yeah, it's how you like it. It's lovely. <clears throat> Let's try the beef. Just the sauce and the rice. Yeah. You don't need anything, just the sauce and the rice. That's it. That beef is nice. It is. When you stir it like that, Sorry, we thought we Yeah. I used to get told off for that as a kid. The garlic running through that is enhanced by the tomato. Yes. It's a very garlicky flavour. Even though you're not using a lot of garlic compared to a normal Chinese dish, like a satay or whatever. This is... um. It's a tomato now. Ooh. It's just so good. It's nothing like an Italian tomato sauce either. No. It's not, not, not like a pizza or it's really difficult to explain. It's just silky, smooth. Tomato can tend to be bitter, yeah. but this isn't bitter. It's Try just, it on spaghetti. Spaghetti is just uh, via Banavi Cosmos. So. Pardon? Via Banavi is Polish, sorry. More chili. Mm. So, I'll let mum finish this. I'll let you hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah. We've also got a new channel out called Chin and Chew TV. We were just on BBC Radio Somerset. Oh, yeah. Your mum was really excited about that. Yes, I was, but I, I didn't know what to say. It was scary. Yeah, because it's going live. 
We were pre-recorded actually, but it will be out. Oh, I mean, you, I mean, not live. It is. It was live when we were. Yeah, obviously, we were talking. Yeah, because they weren't playing a cassette to us. Yeah, so it's pre-recorded or something you call it. Yeah, so we and it was really cool. So we've got a vlog on that on Chin and Chew TV. We've got a review channel that we're doing more videos for this year called Chin and Chew Reviews. Follow. Lovely. Our face is lovely. It is gorgeous. Thank you very much. Remember, I said like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, become a patron. If not, we just appreciate you being here. Make sure you hit that like though. That really does help us out. Yeah, like. Like. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. And mum. Happy cooking, happy eating. Yeah.